In this video, I'll show you how to add a request a quote button to your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. Throughout this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to trigger this request a quote um, form based on a few different criteria, right? So the main criteria we're going to be focusing on throughout this video is basically the product status. So maybe you want to only show the request a quote button when a product's out of stock or maybe you want to show it for the in-stock products. I'll show you how to do that and so much more. So without further ado, let's head over to our demo site. Okay, so here we are on our demo site and currently I've created a rule to only show our request a quote um, button to products which are currently out of stock. So if we check this product here, which is currently in stock, as you can see, it's just a standard um, WooCommerce behavior, right? So the customer can just go ahead and um, add it to cart and purchase as normal. So let's just quickly test our request a quote flow. So we can choose the quantity. Okay, and it's been added to our quote basket. So we can view our quote basket. Okay, and I've already got a few items from um, our previous testing as well, but we can see this product here, okay? And we can see the quantity that we selected. Here we've got this form here. So again, the form's customizable. You can enable and disable um, the relevant fields which you need in your particular scenario. Okay, so the customer can go ahead and submit their quote. Okay, and that's been successfully submitted. So what will happen next is the admin or store manager will get an email letting them know there's a new quote. And then from there on, the admin can go ahead and actually create a custom pricing to this particular customer. From the back end, they can go ahead and send the quote over to the customer, adding custom shipping and a custom pricing as well. Okay, so if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the request a quote plugin by WooSuite. I'll leave the link in the description below. And with that said, let's head back over to our dashboard. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded a WeSuite request a quote plugin, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll just go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WeSuite menu here. From here, you can just click activate, then it will automatically redirect you to this add-ons page. And then from here, we can just make sure we enable the request a quote plugin, okay? So I've currently got mine enabled and active, so we can just click manage. Okay, so again, we'll just click add new rule. Okay, and then from here we can give it a name, it's just for internal purposes. So we can say for this test example, I'm just going to create a request a quote option for admin, okay, because I'm currently logged in as admin. Okay, and we would say it's rule type, so we can either choose um, guest users, which are all users logged out of your site, or we can choose registered users, okay? Then you can select the specific user role of the registered user. For the rule priority, we can choose between 1 and 10. So in the case that a customer matches two different rules, the rule with the highest priority will trigger for that user. So I'm just going to set mine to one and I'm going to set the user role to admin. We can select multiple user roles. So for example, I could select admin and maybe wholesale customers. Okay. All right. And this is a new feature. So stock um, status. Okay. So from here we can choose to trigger the request the quote option based on a product status. Okay. So for example, maybe you only want to show this um, request the quote option when a product's out of stock. Okay. So if the product's out of stock, maybe you want to um, capture that customer's email they'll inquire about the product then it can help you determine the demand for that particular product right and then you can probably even create a custom pricing for that customer um, since it might take some time to get the product um, reordered and back in stock okay so we can choose from out of stock in stock or um, back order okay so i'm just going to set this to out of stock for this example and then i'm going to apply it to all products okay so we can choose specific products or we can choose from a particular product category so i'm just going to select all products okay and here it says high price the one a higher price in so again this is totally up to you but we can choose yes or no if we choose yes then where the price would normally be we can add a custom text there okay so we could say something like inquire for price for example but in this case, I'm going to display the pricing, okay? Where it says hide add to cart button. So we can replace the add to cart button with our custom quote button. Or we've got the option to keep the add to cart button and display our quote button as well, okay? Or we can replace the add to cart button with a custom button. And we can also keep the add to cart button and display a custom button. Okay, so why you might choose to use a custom button is, let's say, for example, um, here. 
we can add a text for the button okay and then instead of using our quote system maybe you want to send them over to an external site right where they need to fill in some sort of application so that's why you've got the option to use a custom button okay so i'm just going to use our default um, quote system okay and then here for our button label i'm just going to say request the quote okay and then we can just go ahead and publish this rule so again this rule should only trigger for our products which are currently out of stock okay and it will only trigger for admin and wholesale customer as well so let's quickly check our products and then we'll view a product which is currently out of stock okay so i can see that this product here is out of stock so we can view this and we should be able to see our quote button okay and that's working fine let's view a product which isn't out of stock so let's just view this one and as you can see, there's no quote button. So I won't go through the various um, use cases in which you can use this um, option, right? So again, you can tailor it to your personal need and you can create multiple different rules as well. So if we go back to all rules, right, we can add a new rule as well. So we can create a rule for registered users, a rule for guest users and numerous different types of rules, okay? Based on different um, scenarios. Okay, so we should probably change this typo. Okay, that's fine. So when a customer submitted a quote, it will display here. Okay, so these are all the quotes that we've ever received and we can quickly filter by the status, whether it's expired, pending, or whether it's approved, okay? So this is one of the latest quotes which are created in the intro. Okay, so here you can see the customer's detail, right? You can see all the products that they requested a quote for. And in here we can see the current price that you set in the back end, right? And then we've got an option to just set a custom pricing. So instead of charging the customers $95, we're charging them $40 for this particular product. And um, for shipping, we can add our custom shipping charge and um, we can add new products as well to their quote. And we can also leave a note. With this note, they'll be able to reply to the note as well, okay? And then we can just publish to um, send a customer over this particular quote. So for the settings, I've created a more in-depth video going through um, the different settings in which you can configure. So I'll leave a link on screen and in the description below to show you how to actually utilize this settings area here. And that's a quick overview in how you can actually create a quote system on your Wii e-commerce store in just a few simple steps as always if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you got any questions leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible